Oh, it's the oldest story in the book. Boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy kicks open the closet door, and finally meets Mr. Wright. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? You got a kid, right? Loud music ain't good for kids. It hurts their ears. Mind your own business. What's your name? Marco. I'm Rudy. Family services people know he's No, here? they do not. I prefer to keep it that way. Thank you. Paul! What the hell are you doing? Last night, his mom left him alone, and she ain't been back since then. What do you want me to do about it? You're a lawyer. We have some legal papers we'd like you to sign. And what do they say? That Rudy will take care of Marco while you're locked up. You're going to try and keep him, aren't you? You say yeah. Marco didn't ask to be born to a junkie, didn't ask to be different, didn't ask for none of this. And I just don't see why he should be punished anymore for stuff that ain't his fault. There's no way the judge is going to grant you custody. Just don't mention a relationship. Don't. I see here that Mr. Donatello lives with you. He's my cousin. So what's the game plan here? We're going to be wrinkled old queens still telling people what cousins? Do you want to lose him? That's discrimination, Paul. It is not discrimination, that's reality. This is my home? Yeah, this is your home. You told me you became an attorney so you could change the world. Here is your chance to do some of that world changing. No one in this entire world wants him, except us. We want him. We love him. Isn't that what he deserves? Isn't that what every child deserves? I believe in us, and I believe no matter what, we have right on our side. Will you tell me a story? Okay. I have a happy ending. Mm. Don't we all, sweetheart? <laughs>